lunch bell goes. Really nervous by now. Feeling a bit light-headed after all the cigarettes we've just had. Esther just lights one from next, even if you haven't finished first. Yeah, she goes every bloody two seconds. I have to smoke my hardest just to keep up with her. In that hour we were sat there waiting, we must have smoked our way through the best part of three packets. That's 60 odd cigs. Old pile of fags building at his feet. Scott sees us from the door. I can see he does. He starts running up, then stops. Then starts walking like he's thinking. Poor kid. He don't know whether to come out, go in. It's all fucking to do with what that Laura's told him. He does come up though in end. He doesn't say out, just stares at us through railings. I just look back. I don't know what to say either. Just stay there, both of us. Just looking. Have you come back now, Mum? Fucking hell. Start to feel weird again. Head's pounding. I ask him to come round this side at railings. I want to talk to him. Checks his head. It's not allowed. Who says? Teachers. Which teachers? Says they're not allowed out at the playground. Just be a minute, love. Only take a minute. Checks his head. It's not coming. I'll have a word with your teachers. Have you come back now, Mum? Oh. I have to get a breath. Can't let him see that I'm upset. Yeah? I've come back now. I'm not going to live with you again. Bloody hope so, darling. 